Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and if this is your first time here, welcome to Booked and Busy. So today is Halloween and I'm starting a spooky weeding vlog. So I'm going to be buddy reading some books with Chanel over Chanel time. I hosted like a little cozy weekend readathon, very casual. So we have um, two like books we're guaranteed to buddy read, two optional reads, and then like I might fit some other spooky books in. So the first book I want to talk about is My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyinkin Braithwaite. It's a Nigerian um, mystery thriller and it's told in verse. Uh, and it's about this lady who is just what it says, her sister is a serial killer. And I'm 25% into it. We're both listening to the audiobook. Um, it's really it's really interesting so far. It's only four hours long, the audiobook, so it's going by really quickly. And our sister, our sister's already killed someone, so we both can kind of see where we think the story is going to go. So we're going to see if things happen the way we think they will. The second book that we're both going to be reading is... Uzumaki by Jinji Ito. This is a horror manga and it's about like spirals and things. This one is pretty thick, but it is manga. So um, I'll be working on this over the course of the weekend. The other two audiobooks that we want to try and work through are Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer and maybe a read uh, Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, I think. But I also have um, Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. I've heard really good things about this. So you know, as long as I finish Uzumaki and My Sister the Serial Killer, I'm happy. So I don't know exactly how long um, I'll have to read for other things because I'm at my uncle's house. We're having like a going away barbecue kind of for me. Just a little bit, a little something because I'm moving soon again. Yeah. And I also probably will read some of Check Please Volume 2, Sticks and Scones because I am 50 pages into this and I'm enjoying it. So yeah, that's um, what we have planned. Let me go outside and show y'all the grill and my favorite uncle. <laughs> well, here is where the magic is going to happen, folks. I will update you when there is food. The barbecue is um, commencing. The meat is going on the grill. The beans are done. The macaroni and cheese is coming. Everybody's having a snack because everybody is hungry. So, progress. Progress is being made, people. The apron is on. The smoke is about to start. The charcoal, is the charcoal on? Yes. Sure. I'm now going to get hot dog buns. Hey, I'm not. You gotta go to the hood store. Hot Target don't have no buns. I thought I would give you a reading update. So I am 65% into my sister to serial killer. I'm enjoying it. I'm really, really frustrated by the main character relationship with her sister. Her sister is the one that's a serial killer, and like just everyone in their life just seems to cater to this sister. There are no boundaries placed on this sister. It's she is like a repeat. She really is a serial killer. Like men just die in her presence, and like everyone just excuses it and all of that. So it's going by really quickly. I'm just hoping like we can already there's a setup for like this um the sister that we follow our main character she has a crush like on this man at her work and now the man and her sister started to date and like my prediction is that she's gonna end up killing the man now that's not a spoiler because it hasn't happened and that's just my prediction but the way it happened it was set up so nicely that for that to be like the ending and for that to be like the finally be the thing that makes the girl like give up on her sister and have her go um go off into the deep end so i'm actually about to take a browse through the bookstore i'm at books a million um i have mm, like 45 minutes left on top on double suite of this audiobook so i'll probably finish it because i need to run into target and get some things for my family as well so i just thought i would update y'all and show you a little bit of maybe if i buy anything but until then that's all folks all right, y'all, it seems like I came back just in time for the food. Um, let's see. We've got mac and cheese, um, some chicken and hot dogs, some stuffed eggs, some corn, the meat, which I will show you in just a moment. Um, there are baked beans somewhere. Ma, where are the baked beans? Uh, in the pan. the top of the stove in the back. Oh. Okay, there are baked beans. Well, you can't see that, but I'm excited. And I picked up some beer. My uncle likes this beer. I've never had it before, but it is. Hmm? Put it in the freezer. Okay, put it in the freezer. Upstairs or downstairs? Right there. Okay, Fat Tire is a 
Belgium Amber Ale. So we're gonna try that. And then I saw a new flavor of Stella, which I haven't had before, which is the watermelon. Um, haven't had this one before. I had almost all the other ones, so I feel like it'll be fine. <sighs> but yeah, about to eat soon. And I'm excited. I, oh, I did finish my sister the serial killer. I will tell y'all my thoughts in just a minute. And I'll give you the haul. Okay, so the angle is weird, but let me give you my quick thoughts on my sister the serial killer. I finished it, giving it two stars. It was okay. It wasn't anything fantastic. Like it was very predictable. Um, I wouldn't say that it was a thriller at all because it was more like slice of life with an accomplice to murder. Um, the the relationship between the two sisters is really interesting because one completely enables the other and then the whole family everyone that the girl knows kind of caters to her and in her ways and things like that she's definitely like un, unhinged i think um and oh, and like not completely there and then um the ending like it didn't happen exactly how i thought it would happen but it was close enough uh, it was definitely pretty quick. I loved like how rich in Nigerian culture it was. It was nice um, reading a thriller that wasn't so white, to be quite honest. So let me show you the couple things that I picked up are the Books a Million. Um, Books a Million had uh, a steal going on, so they had like buy, get three for two for like comics and manga. So I did pick some of those up. So I picked up Mooncakes by Wendy Zhu and Suzanne Walker. I've heard really good things about this one. I know it has like a non-binary character and it's like queer, so that's exciting. I also got, <laughs> you'll see a theme here. I got um, Moonstruck by Tracy Ellis and Shay Beagle, I think. Um, in this volume one, Magic to Brew. And I've got plus size queer main characters and I think some of them is black. <laughs> Hello. Hi, and then I got Fence Volume 4. I read the first three volumes last year, I want to say, on Scribd, and then they came out with the most recent one. So I want to pick this up. I know also it came out, they came out recently with the novelization, and I want to pick up the novelization, but I wanted to read Volume 4 first. Fence, I don't know what these is about. This is about for this i just know it has to do with baking but i do know that fence follows um nick and seiji is it his name seiji i think but they are at a fencing school and they're on the, he's on a fencing scholarship and there's like a budding romance and they're also like rivals so that's really cool uh, i don't own the other three volumes but i'll probably get them soon so these are the three um graphic novels and comics i got so all three of them together were like 26 dollars, which isn't bad because this is nine this is 10 and these are both 15 a piece so that's 40 dollars so yeah that was cool and then i got two books i got the hardcover of the bands of mourning it was on sale for six dollars from barnes and uh, books a million and this is the third book in miss born era two uh which is a continuation but set like 300 years after the events of miss born era one we follow wax and wayne uh wexillian ladrian and uh, Wayne, who was a lawmaker, and this is, um, what's her name? Maris? Ma I always forget. Marisai. There we go. I listened to the audiobooks for, for the first two, but I know that they're on sale at a different branch, so I'm probably gonna go pick those up and have them in hardcover, since I've committed to buying the U.S. hardcovers of the series of books. So I'm excited to read this one. I do have the audiobook for it, but I did want to own it physically, since I could get all three books for literally under $20 in hardcover. So that's exciting. And the last thing that I picked up was the rig by roger levy this is a sci-fi book and it says that on a desert planet two boy two boys meet sparking a friendship that would change human society forever on the windswept world of bleak a string of murderers lead a writer to tell a story about unbelievable ramifications one man survives the vicious acts but is left with a morbid fascination with death and welcome to the system here the concept of a god has been abandoned and a new faith pervades afterlife a social media platform that allows subscribers a chance at resurrection based on the votes of other users so i love books with games i love books that deal with religion and gods and things like that so i'm excited to pick to check that out um my sci-fi tbr grows every day that's why i haven't filmed a video yet but here is my little haul very exciting and i'm gonna either read the grown up next or i'm actually gonna try to make some progress with uzumaki but i'm about to eat with my family and we're gonna see what happens but uh so yeah i'll check with you guys later all right so my favorite uncle has spent all day slaving over his brand new grill we're gonna see if it was worth the wait your mama cooked too 
Did you grill? No, but she did the sides. I told her. I told him that she did the sides. She cleaned the food. She oh, my mama cleaned the food. I thawed the food out. I put the vinegar on it. I was slaving over a cold sink all night. Okay? We were just giving credit everywhere where credit is due. You want to say hi? Okay. Right. Bye. I, I knew that they would be moved it, which it is. Okay, here we go. We're about to see if um, this uh, special, special grill was worth it. Dun, dun, dun. This meat is sauceless, so it's an equal opportunity barbecue. Oh, look at that. We've got meat, people. We've got chicken. Go we've got pork. Do we have beef? Uh -uh. No, okay, we've got chicken and we've got pork, but we've got sausages. Look at it. It's what to get in my belly. All right, y'all, so it's time for a taste test. I'm about to see if my mama still got it. I'm about to see if my uncle can do anything without my grandma around because my grandma usually does the barbecuing. Um, so, my mama made the sides. What else did you do? Everything but put it on the grill. Okay, so if it's unseasoned, we know who to blame. So, we're going to see. Here is my plate. It's time for a live reaction, folks. Now, macaroni and cheese can be very hit and miss, especially in my household. Sometimes it slaps, sometimes it does not. What? Mostly grandma, cause she getting up there in age. So sometimes she kind of forget to put the cheese in there. And so that's unfortunate. Let's see. <clears throat> it's good. Could have, could have been in the oven just a little, a little bit longer. Just to get a good crust. You know, a little, a little crunch on the crust. But otherwise, very good. Okay, let's see about these beans. What's up? Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? Alright, y'all. Alright, mama well, made these beans this morning now. So let's get, let's hope they, they held up. They cold, but they good. Now, I haven't tried the ribs yet, boss. We about to find out together. We're going to see if my uncle still got it. Well, still ain't the right word. Okay. Here's the bone my uncle grilled, honey. Let's um, find out. Okay. That was good. Go ahead, girl. The sauce is real nice. All right, y'all. Why my, you sound so surprised? My family has still got it, okay? We're eating good in the neighborhood. Now, I'm going to finish eating. My uncle's going to bring me a beer in a minute. And for Dex. For daddy. I said, what, since when Dex eating real? <laughs> what kind not, of food? Not yet. I know y'all like to give babies food early, but I think a rib is a little bit much. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna start with the monkey. I've already taken it out. You tried it. Right? Horror food. Yeah. You don't trust me? I ain't waiting on you. I'm gonna ask somebody who's tried it. I just tried it. I just said it was good. You said you was waiting on you hadn't tried the rib yet. Yeah, as soon as you walk by, I said, I'm gonna go and try it right now. <laughs> Black people, I swear. Anyway, it's about a town that's overrun with spirals, contaminated with spirals. So, I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna put my camera battery on the charge because it's flashing. So, I'll check in with y'all later. Bye bye. So, this was supposed to be like a cool weekend reading vlog. It is not that, it is now Thursday. And we're just gonna make it like a reading vlog. Might be like two weeks, we'll see. But um, it's November 5th. Well, it's November 6th now, because after midnight. And I've just finished my first book from my 
November TBR, but this is my Believe Athon TBR. I just finished um, Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee. I'm giving it three stars. It was cool. I liked like, the mythology and the lore, but like I found myself getting distracted quite often and it didn't hold my attention very well. Um, the the lore and the mythology I really enjoy is about like the, uh, a girl who's a gumiho and it's like a sci-fi story because her brother is like in the space forces and he goes missing and so she like is like a Mulan element she pretends to be a boy and you know finds the ship and she goes on this adventure really cute I think it would be awesome for kids I think it was just I was struggling to like stay engaged with it um but I really did enjoy it and I'm definitely gonna put this in my classroom I think the kids would really like this um yeah so that's that first book from november i think the next book that i'm gonna start is gonna be um a book from my tbr jingle tbr so we've got um where dreams to send harrow the ninth and legend Point. and i think i'm gonna start with i think i'm gonna start with where dreams to send this one is 430 pages long and it's like a Phantom of the Opera meets Greatest Showman. It's like a circus story. Um, but I've heard really good things. I haven't seen any look at that. I haven't seen any bad reviews of this one. And this is for the booktuber pick prompt. Kay picked this book for me. They love this book. So I'm excited. I actually am going to go and take my makeup off. Um, cause I filmed today and then I'm going to start reading this. Maybe I can read the first act one and 52 pages. So it'll be awesome if I can finish that tonight. If I don't, it's fine. Um, but I want to finish at least one book a week for my actual CBR. Um, and then hopefully that'll keep me on track. I need to do more than that to stay on track, but we'll see. I did want to give you all an update and I will check in. Let me see. What, what middle grade am I going to go for next? I think I'm going to go for... I'm gonna go for Wondersmith because this is a sequel to Nevermore and I already am like familiar with the world and the characters and this one is over 500 pages but like I said because I already know the world a little bit and know the characters I think it wouldn't take me as long to get through it's the 5th of November really the 6th now and I just now finished my first book of the month so I really kind of need to kick it in a gear I may pick up some graphic novels because I did buy some comics I bought um Finn's volume 4 and I bought Moonshot volume 1 and I need to finish Check Please volume 2 as well so I'm gonna do a little bit more reading tonight it's just at the midnight but um I don't have much work to do tomorrow and yeah that's all I had to say today so I will see all of you tomorrow Hi friends, it's Sunday night and I'm back with a reading update. So I did read and finish Fence Volume 4, Rivals. I gave this one five stars. This was so cute. Seeing um, where the story went from volumes, the first three volumes where Nick was trying to make the team. And this volume was so much more about the entire team, less about Nick, because in this one, they were doing a practice match and we saw them like come together as a team. So really like this one. I love Fence cannot wait to continue with this series and i also read 150 pages of check please i'm at like the 200 page 207 page 207 so i want to finish this tonight uh, really enjoying this is really cute this one is much more about like discovering your identity being true to yourself coming out and things like that so i'm really enjoying this one and then i read the first um 50 pages of Where Dreams Ascend by Janelle Angelis and I'm really enjoying it. I'm already like I really enjoy the writing style and I'm already kind of like shipping two characters but I've been told that these aren't the characters that are going to be like in game so hmm. but yeah I'm enjoying it. I want to make some more progress in this tonight as well. I have not started Nevermore yet. I haven't read much this weekend and I've been um rereading Raid of Dragons so that I can um read Fires of Vengeance but yeah so that's all i have for this update i'm gonna get to some reading and then hopefully tonight i'll update you again i also bought some books this weekend but i will show y'all that tomorrow because i want to go ahead and start reading i have to update my other vlog first but yeah i will see you all in a little bit okay bye all right so i'm back and i'm going to do a reading update but first i have a very very exciting package Look, Perry is 
sent this to me for an honest review. <laughs> me, who's been on the fairy loop wish list for like four months. Okay, let's let's get into this box. I have very high expectations. Yes, I know the book is already, but I want to see the other things and like what you know the special edition looks like. Am I last too bright? Hmm? Let's let's see. Okay, not too bright. It's just reflecting off my glasses. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so we've got this card here. Wicked Hearts. This is the spoiler card. This is not, oh I'm gonna love this for some Christmas wrapping. Okay, so we've got Wicked Hearts playing cards. That's neat. So I can play some spades with some fancy cards. We've got like this little um, packet. Oh, and this is the pin. The oh, this is the Young Elites enamel pin. It's my turn to use my turn to hate oh it's nice like a wolf with constellations that's neat and like a crescent moon oh. <laughs> my fo my camera wants to focus on my face so bad i know it's pretty but relax and then are these stickers yes they're stickers these are some star wars stickers now i don't know nothing about star wars okay not one thing I couldn't tell you Star Wars Madam, but I'm assuming that's what that is. Kingdom of the Wicked Salt and Pepper Shakers. Well, that's the book. <laughs> that's the book. Um, now, would I use a salt and pepper shaker? No. Is it super cute? Absolutely. Look. It's not, there we go, look at that. This is one, and this is the other one. Those are pretty. Then, Jax from the Caraval series. This is a puzzle. It's a hundred piece puzzle, oh that's neat. I like doing puzzles. Okay. I don't know nothing about Jack. I've never read Carval, but it's exciting. <gasps> there are socks. Vampire Hunter socks. Listen, I always need socks because I lose them. I have so many one socks, like an individual sock. So, love that. And then they have more of their like tarot cards. Is it the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords? I don't know who these people are. I'll check the spoiler card. Let's see. Mm. Okay. House of Blood by Sarah J. Mass. So maybe this is Hunt and Bryce. I don't know. I haven't read the book. And finally, the book. Which I've already said what it is and this is the October box for fairy loot I love this little pouch but definitely use it oh there's something in here okay before we get into it it's got a bookmark with like the same art as the character card and then it's got a deleted chapter from Kingdom of the Wicked. Okay. We love to see that. Bonus content. Oh, I saw the edges. It's something else. Letter from the author. Some more art. We got a naked man. Love to see it. Okay, we're going to get to all that. Look at the book. Oh my 
my god, these edges. Like. Those are so pretty. Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. Honestly, it looks so much better without that James Patterson Presents across the top. Oh, wow. And then let's see what's under the dust jacket. <gasps> okay. <laughs> that is so pretty. This is so pretty. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Fairy Lou, for sending this to me because, wow. <laughs> this is beautiful. Like, okay. Let me, uh, so this is a review, honey. Let me, let me go through the items and tell you my thoughts on them. Um, the book is not one I would have picked up on my own, but I read the synopsis and it does sound interesting. Uh, I know it has to do with um, one of the princes of hell, Astaroth, and that sounds interesting to me. Uh, love hell. Uh, a sister is murdered and the other sister is out for vengeance. Y'all know I love revenge stories, so I actually probably will read this. And like, if nothing else, like the addition is beautiful. The black spray edges are really well done. The stencil, like this is so like detailed. Like, wow, that's crazy. The naked hardcover is beautiful. Um, socks, I would use. Stickers, I would not use. But that's not a big deal to me. Um, next month's theme is Enemies to Lovers. I, I don't care to read that um but I do know that um I do know what the book for next month is as well um this is nice it, I assume this is Astaroth and he's looking good so I'm a fan uh deleted scenes if I enjoy the book this will probably be really fun I can always use more bookmarks and never have too many uh I'm really not sure what one does with these maybe you display them but the artwork is really nice. I would have appreciated if, um, like, somewhere on here, even if on the back, like, the actual characters are. But I guess if you read the book, you probably know who they are. The love. The playing cards. I can definitely get use out of these. When I pull these out at the party, people are going to be like, what? Exclusives? Um, the puzzle is really neat. And, like, the box is so cute. I really like the pen. I don't really know what to do with pens. I just have them somewhere. But if you know what to do with a pen, tell me. And, like, the salt and pepper shakers, cute, would not use them. Not very practical for, like, actual salt and pepper. But I think they're cute display pieces, like, to have on your shelves if you like, like, tchotchkes and stuff. So, overall, I love this box. It's so well done. And this is actually, like, not, like, paper. It's, like, I don't know, but it's going as someone's Christmas gift. I'll tell you that. But this was awesome. Thank you so much to Fairy Lou again. And then I'm going to put this down and give y'all a reading update. Okay. So, here is my reading update. So, after I uh, had to take a couple days off from this vlog, like today is Saturday the 14th, and I finished Fires of Vengeance for a vlog, and then I picked up Heart Supper Volume 2 because. Why is the light? I picked up Heart Supper Volume 2 because I needed like something to reset my heart and my brain after the vengeance that took place in that book, and then I. Went back to my Louis Vuitton TBR and I read The Mystery of Black Halloween by Julia Noble. This book is so cute. It is a middle grade mystery about this girl who gets into this boarding school in England and she has this like relic of her dad's and she finds out that there's like this secret society and it's like cult organization at the school and she's like somehow she's connected to them and it's so good i read this entire book in one evening because it was it was so good and i literally went to the bookstore yesterday and i picked up the sequel like this is my first middle grade that i've given five stars this year um uh, because i don't read much but this was fantastic it was so fast paced it was so high stakes for middle grade the writing is so well done i really really enjoyed this one uh 10 out of 10 recommend it's like dark academia for kids like because it's takes us on the school is very like people are very pretentious we have a found family really enjoyed that and next thing i'm gonna pick up is i'm either gonna go back to where dreams descend and i picked up where the mountain meets the moon 
um i know that i'm not going to complete my november tbr of like all the books because i need to start um the way of kings but i'm gonna do my best <laughs> like my absolute best so uh, i need to do some more reading today like a lot of reading because i've been slipping like i'm in like a minor book coma from um evan winter it's the raid uh the rage dragon the fires of went <sighs> i'm in a bit of a book coma from the rage of dragons riri and the fires of vengeance um because it was so good and i'm just so ready to like i'm just not ready to get into a new world but i have to not i don't have to but like i want to read the books that i have on my tv i'm very excited about all of them actually and i'm a host for the um stormlight along live show this month so i need to read i think i already said this i'm not sure but your girl your girl being me <laughs> has um 14 days exactly to read the way of kings <laughs> and where's the radiance so there's lots to do and i'm also gonna be moving house in that time so um I just got book mail, so uh, Words of Radiance. Amazon was on like a three for two sale, so I picked up Words of Radiance. Um, I already own The Way of Kings. I picked up Oathbringer, which is book three in the Starlight Archive. My pre order for book four should be here next week. And I also got uh, The Wise Men's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, which is book two in the King Killer Chronicles. And then I got the hardcover the final empire i read this back in may it's fantastic i originally gave it three stars it's definitely not a three-star read i think i just my expectations were too high but i've constantly talked about this book referenced this book recommended this book since then i think about it all the time want to reread it and i'm pretty sure if i reread it with my eyes i'll probably give it five stars because it was fantastic especially when i know how the story ends and like picking up on all like the things i didn't see during my first read very excited um so yeah I just did my little unboxing all over again for my mama. But yeah, I'm going to get my life together. I was supposed to film today because I need to film like a couple of videos to make sure I have content through my move until I get settled again. And I don't know if that's going to happen tonight, but if I be productive tonight, if I am productive tonight, then I can film in the morning. So that'll be fun. But yeah, that's the only update I have for you. When I, I want to come back, when I have read some more, have some firm reading plans. So until then, folks. All right, friends, so it is the end of the following week and I have not done any more reading. I've been um, in a bit of a reading slump after reading Fires of Vengeance uh, and I read the middle grade and I read like a historical romance during this time. I just casually listened to it, but nothing else for my TBR. So I am going to end this vlog here, but I am going to do one exciting unboxing for you all. Um, I've been waiting on this for a long time. Okay. One second, let me get this open and I'll tell you about it. Okay, this is something that is both historically and geographically inaccurate, but... Oh my god. It's a map of Jan Moon. Oh my goodness, look. So Jan Moon is the city that... um jade city is in so it says jan moon oh my goodness jan moon kekon the clan is my blood and the pillar its master on my honor on my life on my jade so this is hong kong map of hong kong and hong kong is literally my favorite city on earth and on top of that um when I was reading Jade City, it definitely gave me Hong Kong vibes. And it's like an Asian setting, but and it's an island and just lots of things. When I read it, it felt like Hong Kong to me. So when I was asked if I wanted to make <clears throat> a map of one of my favorite fictional places, I was like, absolutely. And I had to do Jan Loon. So thank you so much to Mapable, uh for giving me this opportunity to make this map and like i'm not gonna put it up here because um i'm literally moving this weekend but i'm gonna put it up in my new place and i also got a like ha like hanger thing i don't know what it's called but to make it go flat and then hang it up on the walls but they have lots of different options so you can make like maps like this and you could change the colors and things like that and they also have um 
where you can do like a, a, a star map, you can do like a text map, you can have a, a picture and then put whatever text you want to say over it. I chose to go with the traditional map. So um, you can like put in a place and then you can edit the map as you want. So it can kind of look how you want it to look. So this is Hong Kong, Hong Kong. And I have zoomed in on like Hong Kong Island. But yeah, this is so exciting. This is gonna look so good in my new place. Um, this is so exciting! Ah, oh, okay. But yeah, so I just wanted to end the vlog and show you all my lovely map of Jade City. Um, I'm gonna start another vlog. It'll probably be a while before you see because it, it's gonna take me some time. But I didn't want to just close out. So this started with like my Halloween stuff and ended with where we are now. I haven't read anything more this past week. So that's unfortunate. But these things happen but i hope you all have enjoyed if you made it to the end of this video leave a map emoji for mapafall and for my new map of Jen Loon. and i will see all of y'all in my next video bye bye